Hello there and welcome back to this Newport County Rags to Riches journeyman playthrough. We are in episode 5 and of course we are at our second club. Today we have got the fourth round of the FA Cup. What I decided to do was skip the other games in the league in between just so we could get straight back to cup action as it was exciting in the last episode. Just to give you a quick update on the schedule though, we really took the momentum of beating Charlton in the third round of the FA Cup. We managed to beat Fielder 3-1 at home with Bright getting two goals, one in the last minute of the game and one early on with Isgrove scoring in the 31st minute. We then went on to our game against Notts County and this was a very heated game. We was at 10th and they were in 9th. A win for us put us into the playoffs. A loss meant that there was a gap between us and the playoff positions but we did manage to score scrape our way to a 2-0 win. I say scrape because we left it very late. Divide getting on the score sheet on the 71st minute and then Isgrove managing to score an absolute peach and a curler of a goal in the 93rd minute of the game to really seal the three points. But like I said, we're back today with the Middlesbrough game. We are away, so again, it's a nice kitty into the club that's really going to help with these finances because they're not looking great. That's not our doing, to be fair. The club was already in debt. We're actually doing our part quite well. If you actually look at the wage budget, we're not spending as much as we've actually got on the actual budget itself. What is costing us a lot, and I've noticed, is the staff wages at eleven thousand pounds per week so we will probably have to have a look into that and maybe cut down that backroom team if we need to without further ado we're ready to go so let's get the intro rolling and let's see if we can progress to the fifth round of the fa cup <laughs> Here we are, we are getting our team sorted and the team sheets submitted. We've got Bright is out with another flu. He literally keeps getting a virus or getting a flu and he's very, his immune system is obviously very, very, very poor <laughs> because he keeps getting ill. But that isn't really going to affect us a lot, to be honest, in today's game. We're going to have Isgrove and Garrick start on either wing. Garrick has been quite impressive for us since joining the club. We're also going to have Tavide, of course, start up front as our only fit striker, to be fair. The other ones are either out on loan or, of course, he is is ill as we mentioned earlier but I think this is the team that we're going to go for very unchanged very sim similar look and we're going to go with that and get into the dressing room and try and motivate the boys to pull off the upset like they did against Cholton and realistically if we can take the form that we played at with Cholton and go against Middlesbrough we probably can pull the upset off we're away from home again so even if we can grind out the replay and then play it back at the home ground we know any team that comes to our home ground it is a fortress for us we are unbeaten at home so far with our managerial reign there. We should be able to get our name into the fifth round draw. But we'll see how it goes. Realistically, if we go out, we go out. But of course, every step along the journey in the FA Cup is going to bring more money into the club. So here we go. The team sheets are in. And as predicted, they have gone for quite a strong lineup. There's only been two changes by the looks of it from the usual starting lineup in their last match that they've had. Strong outfit today, which is good for us. We like to be the underdogs. We like our back up against the wall and really proving what we can do. But I'll go through the team sheet quickly for you. We've got Joe Day in goal, then Thomas, Dimitriou, Butler and Haynes, McGavin and Sinclair in midfield, Garrett and Isgrove on either wing with Wade in just behind Tavide and the bench makes up itself from from very familiar faces we're gonna go pump fists we're definitely not gonna go for that because realistically it's not a great thing to say is it oh shall we carry on no we're gonna try and carry on as much as we can so we're gonna go assertively our usual assertiveness that we love in the changing room the pundits might not believe in us today but the fans do so go on and do them proud james white our captain is looking inspired and motivated hopefully he can let that rub off on a few of the other players and get them motivated and inspired as well so here we go we've got kickoff we are playing in our golden kit we are playing from left to right the rain is falling so that has been a good omen for us in the past as we know Let's hope that it's a good omen for us this afternoon. We have approached this game in a little bit more of a cautious mentality. 
just because realistically they are going to be coming on to us and they are going to be trying to score and hopefully we can then hit them on the counter with some balls over the top that we know Tavide loves to run onto. But we've got Garrick here in a position. Oh, Tavide looks like he got his header on target and the goalkeeper has flapped that away for a corner. McGiven, McGavin, sorry, with the delivery in. Butler, Sinclair. What can we do of it here? Isgrove always likes to get round his man and put the ball in, but he plays it back in field. Garrick, Thomas. Thomas coming inside and gets dispossessed easily. The ball over the top, but doesn't look like it actually amounted to anything. The highlight ends, luckily for us, to be fair, because it looked like we were caught out there. Free kick deep in their half. Just going to play it around between themselves. That's fine. Butler deals with that absolutely lovely. Um, Isgrove probably should have released that a little bit sooner rather than letting the possession turn back over. Um, Butler's then gone and given away a penalty. So for all his hard work, winning the ball, reading it well, and then he's given away the pen. Can Day save it? He can! Oh, he's gone straight down the middle. Day's not moved either side. and that Day would have been rooted to the spot. But so far, so good. We managed to keep the penalty out. 20 minutes played, still 0-0. We're going to encourage the lads. Still just keeping on our cautious mentality for now. Like I said, I don't want us to overcommit. And I want them to sort of come on to us. Soak up the pressure and then hit them on the counter. Because we know we can do that. And we can do that effectively. Especially with the wingers that we've got on today. Sinclair into weight. He gets tackled, but Sinclair player... What is that ball? What is that ball? Luckily, Day again makes a fantastic save to keep us in it. He's really been... Vital for us in the last few games, let's be honest. Good, reliable goalkeeper in between the sticks. But we've got another highlight here for Middlesbrough. Another ball over the top and no one is chasing back. Butler just... <sighs> kind of just lunges in and the striker just goes round him. That's a lovely ball, to be fair. The winger's not being marked at all. Look at this, he just lunges, but the just takes a sidestep and goes round him and then Day unfortunately couldn't get beat, couldn't get his feet in the right position to get the dive off because he probably thought that Butler was actually going to do something about it. What we will do is we'll probably see let this highlight play out and nothing really comes of it but can we get something up from the follow up Butler into Isgrove wait Sinclair given lovely ball into Tavide oh, is offside anyway we're going to move it up to balanced Cautious obviously clearly isn't working. We've only had one shot and one shot on target. So hitting them on the counter really isn't paying off. Them balls aren't connecting by the looks of it at the moment. We encourage the boys again. Another highlight here for us. Wait gets his shot away, gets, but it's blocked for the corner. What can we do of it here? McGavin. All in or oh, far post, but unfortunately Tavide can't get his header on target. He can't even make the goalkeeper work there. Dangerous free kick here to defend. Ball doesn't go in straight away. Goes in on the follow-up though, but we deal with it well. Long ball into Tavide, but again, it's not the style. He'd prefer to be running onto that rather than trying to control it with his chest. Ball played in, but the header goes straight over the crossbar. Two minutes of added time in this first half. Going in at the break, 1-0 down. Isn't, isn't terrible. It could be a lot worse. Bear in mind, we were 2-0 down to Cholton at half-time in the, in the third round. We're going to go with pump fists. It wasn't good enough, but we have the second half to make amends. So go out there and do that. And let's hope they bring that form of the second half against Cholton in the first leg into this game. McGavin into weight. Can we do anything with it here? Loose, loose ball upfield. Corner to defend. Oh, he's hit the crossbar. They're come. They're knocking. They are absolutely knocking on the door. Can we keep it shut? Lovely. We get in and intercept it well. Ends their highlight of their attack. Not really getting many more shots. I don't think we've had any other shots as yet on target or even shots in total. Long ball in as a header in. Paddy McNair. A name that's probably familiar with some of you watching. Unfortunately... Cross comes in and Haynes just doesn't deal with it. He just dump, jumps far too early. And to be fair to Richard Day, Richard Day? <laughs> Joe Day, there's not a lot he could have done at that point. 52 minutes played. Just going to encourage the boys once again. You know, it's not all doom and gloom. 
We know we can definitely come back from this. It's just whether we can get back in the game quick enough. Gavin into Sinclair. Garrick. Playing it around nicely. Oh, Garrick with a long-range effort. Keeper just gets a palm to it to send it out for the corner. What can we do from the full out corner? Come on, let's get a goal. Goes out. Defender deals with it well. We are going to bring on George Broadbent bent instead of James White because he's absolutely white weight because he's absolutely puffing out there. Just coming a couple of bit of fresh legs into attack. We encourage the boys again. 65 minutes played. Middlesbrough have now made all of their substitutes, so there shouldn't be any fresh legs coming on for them. We've still got two to make. We are going to make another one now. We're going to bring Walters on. We'll bring Garrick off because he's starting to get a little bit tired out there. And we'll bring on Bennett instead of McGavin. And just see if the fresh legs can have an impact on the game. Corner here to defend. Oh, that was almost free. And that would have been game over if that third went in. We're just going to keep it on balance. We're not going to put it any higher. I just don't think there's any need. Corner from his grove. Can't really do much with it. He's not having a good game this afternoon, his grove. But we can't sub him off. We've already made our subs. But then again, he can find a moment of magic out of nowhere. So hopefully he does have an absolute curling shot that goes in. Who knows? That's Thomas off. And that is probably, unfortunately, the cup run over with that sending off. Going to go for a little bit more of a diamond formation. Now it's going to just be about damage limitations and don't let the score line reflect too badly on us. We're just going to encourage the boys again. 81 minutes played. Just playing it around for fun. The Middlesbrough fans are giving us the old lays. It's not what you want to hear if you're away today at Middlesbrough. Isgrove comes in nicely, gets the ball. Walters tries the ball for divide, but the defender tracks the run back. Deals with it well. They're through again. Oh, dragged that shot just wide of the mark. Luckily for us. We're not going to go to very defensive, so there's no point. Corner here to defend. Isgrove with the delivery. Lovely ball in. Oh, just can't get a header on it. We've got the follow-up here, though. Walters into Isgrove. Nice. Ah, poor ball. Poor ball. He's having a poor afternoon, unfortunately. Not having the same game that he did against Charlton. But that's to be expected. We can't ride our luck against too many quality oppositions like this. Isgrove. Lovely ball for Tavide. Can he find one? At least get a bit of joy back but no he was ruled offside unfortunately three minutes of additional time here that is it the cup run is over the fa cup dream has come to an end realistically was it a trophy we're ever going to win probably not but we can't fault the boys they've done everything they can we're going to go over assertively i'm proud of your efforts even if it wasn't to be today very well done for getting to this stage of the fa cup though much applauds go to the previous manager to get us into the third round. And of course to us getting us into the fourth round itself. We have now dropped out of the playoff position because of course the games around in the Van Armour National still took place. But we have got a game in hand over them. If we win them, it's going to put us on to 52 points. So that will shoot us back up to fifth. We're back to the same old injury stories again. Broadbent has now been injured for two to three weeks. Lovely. And Joe Thomas has now got a virus. How many viruses can a club get? We have been so unlucky. And it's always these little off periods. The players aren't even at that much risk of injuries, really. Let's be honest. They're not exactly. This isn't exactly heavy, intensive training. It's just general bits of training here and there. It's not as if we're doing quickness and endurance and strength every other day. Now his growth picked up an injury. Really? I mean... I thought it was great being a professional unit and having more training, but it looks like we can't because they just get injured every five minutes. The physio team have got a lot of questions to ask for. At the end of the season, we're going to be reviewing all of them contracts. We obviously need a little bit more of a medical team in place. And every time we have a gap, I'd rather be playing a game every, every other day, to be honest. At least it stops the injuries from just occurring in training all the time. His Grove has passed his fitness test, though, which is good news, I suppose. It did say it was going to take at least five to six days, but it looks like it hasn't. So let's get into the team and let's select this. First of all, we're not going to be playing on the balance. We're going to go positive as we are playing bottom of the league. Sinclair 
is suspended for this game because he picked up uh, an extra yellow card in the last league game out. We're going to bring Bright back onto the bench, but we won't play him there. Let's bring in Scott Bennett. We know he can do a good job for us. He's going to play as a ball-winning midfielder. We've also got to get out Joe Thomas. We've got the perfect replacement in him in Walters. It gives us that more attacking prowess from the right-hand side. We are playing, obviously, against a, a weaker opposition, if we can say that respectfully, of course. Let's get the boys into the dressing room. Let's try and carry on that momentum that we had in the league, at least. I know we've just lost in the cup, but it's not a disappointing result, really, to lose 2-0 to Middlesbrough. Let's be honest. Oh, my God. I thought I've been recording this whole time. I've been talking and I haven't. But I'll bring you... <laughs> oh, God. I'll give you a quick snapshot of what's happened. Obviously, we're 4-0 up. Garrick has got a hat trick. Oh, I've been giving you some absolute bangers as well in the one-liners. But anyway... Garrick has scored his hat-trick, then he turned into provider and got assist. It's his first three goals for the club, and since we've brought him in, he's been an absolutely influential signing. I can't believe I've not been recording this whole time. How embarrassing. I've literally just looked at this point in the minute now and gone, hang on a minute, why does that say paused? But anyway, <laughs> at least I've brought you back at this point. It's been a dominating performance, as you can probably imagine. 4-0 up at home. The fans have absolutely been loving it. They don't love them loose passes, though, which is a little bit infuriating. Can we keep the clean sheet? Lovely interception there. Bright's come on. Oh, that was a bit of a cynical foul in from behind, if you ask me. But the breath has let him get away with it, not even a booking. But yeah, Garrett has scored a three. Then he got an assist. So he's gone from goal scorer to goal provider. He's on a 9.6 rating. We have already made our three substitutes. We're letting him play out the whole game. We've got a corner here to defend. Looks like that come back off the crossbar potentially or come off of one of our players or one of our defenders. 80 minutes played. I'm so sorry that I wasn't recording. <laughs> that is bitterly disappointment. It's going to be a nice short episode for everyone to be fair. Well done if you've stuck out this far. 60% possession for us. 16 shots, 10 on target. So our work on the training field's really been paying off. Three additional minutes. Can we get five? Haynes with the ball in. No one's there, unfortunately. Bright just hasn't got the same movement as Divide. Win that ball back. Let's try and go for a fifth, shall we? Just so everyone watching at home can see us score at least one goal. Ball over the top. Played back. Are they going to line up for a long shot? They are, but Day does well. And Haynes clears it out for the corner. Delivery into the box. Nothing comes about of it. Play back in midfield. Three additional minutes. We're already in the first. That's probably going to be it. Luckily, I spotted it when I did. Could you imagine if I spotted it now? It would look a bit sus. Oh, Day again makes a lovely save. What does annoy me is all you've seen is basically Dagenham and Redbridge highlights since I've realised that we weren't been recording. Garrick. Long ball downfield, not really anyone there, no one's chasing it, but it doesn't matter. It's a 4-0 win, we can't complain. 16 shots in total, 10 on target, with an XG of 2.31. We have played very well this afternoon, 92% pass completion and 58% possession. Garrick getting on the score sheet in the 5th, the 39th and the 47th minute. We won the penalty and they said, go on mate, get your first hat-trick for the club. You can take it. Let's get into the dressing room. Outstretched arms, a good win and a good performance. That'll do well done. In terms of the league standings, that moves us up to sixth. We have got a game in hand on everyone around us. So if we win our game in hand, it will propel us up to fourth in the league on 55 points. And then it's going to be about closing the gap with this leading pack of three We've got Scumthorpe on 65 points, Grimsby on 62, and FC Halifax on 61. Can we break into the top three by the time the end of the season comes around? It's possible if we carry on playing with the form that we've got. But of course, anything could happen at any moment in non-league football. In terms of the schedule, we haven't got too many games left of this season. We've got 14 games in total. And what we're going to do, I'm going to skip the Maidstone game. So I bring you back 
for our game against third in the league and eighth in the league. And then we're going to go on and so on and so forth and probably skip one or two and then show two like we did in our first season at Langefni. But I hope you've enjoyed. This is probably going to be a little bit shorter than you're used to due to the silly mistake of me not clicking that record button. It's always the way when you're going up and you're 4-0 up at that point. It then comes along that you've not been recording. But I do apologise. But I hope you enjoyed my little bit of filler commentary in the last moments of that game. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new around here. Don't forget to leave a like on the video. It does help me a lot more than you think. And in the comment section below, let me know if you've ever signed a player who's then been so influential for you since he's joined the club. Bear in mind, Garrick's only had four appearances for us. Four appearances, three goals and two assists with an average rating of 7.85. I mean, you can't actually ask for much more, can you? From a winger as well, he's not even being played as a striker and that return of three goals and two assists is fantastic. But let me know the names in the comment section of your players, whether they're regens, whether they're real players. Let's get a bit of interaction going in between, obviously, the commenters and let's see what type of signings there are out there. But thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll speak to you soon. Bye-bye. I work hard each and every day I get lost in the words I say I don't push pause, no I push play I won't stop till I make a change I withdraw on the things I make I turn flaws into flawless traits I build tall, never cap in space I won't stop till I hear him say oh, oh, la, 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 la.